Hi everyone, this is Jason. Welcome back to the channel. Joining me today is Brandon Cooper. He's CEO of AFID, which is a uh, AI uh, machine learning application meant to help with uh, workflow. So the name of the application is AFID. And Brandon, before we get started on anything else, would you, be, would you mind ex um, explaining to the audience what uh, AFID is and why you decided to make that the uh, name of your uh, company? So an AFID reproduces at a very, very fast rate. It can actually clone itself with or without a partner. So it can, it can have a baby through asexual reproduction. So the, even the babies are pregnant. Uh, they can have like 50 babies in a week. Uh, so the way that it correlates to our platform is we're going to allow you to clone yourself and when it works for you, you get paid. Uh, so the eight, I was researching, looking around all on the internet, looking at all these different creatures that can reproduce itself, that can clone itself. And the aphid was unique because I had never heard of it before. I was actually pronouncing it the wrong way myself. <laughs> and then, uh, that, <laughs> that's, the, that's the genesis of the company's name. Nice, nice. So your background is in IT, machine learning, uh, marketing, and blockchain technology. Um, so for my first question, I'd like to ask, how did you first find crypto? I first heard Bitcoin 2009, 2010. Uh, heard whispers about it, but I didn't know how to invest in it. I was looking for a stock market, that kind of stuff, and I didn't figure out it so i just kind of brushed it like okay you know maybe it's a little early i didn't really know and then fast forward to 2017 is when i started investing in it where i started the price was increasing and uh i got a boss of ethereum and let it ride from there right so we met at uh, cis 2019 the other day and uh mm -hmm. um we uh we have a mutual uh, associate uh ryan uh, Calder, shout out to Ryan Calder. <laughs> and uh, so it's interesting. It's interesting to me that um, what you're doing is working with chatbots. And chatbots are, are an interesting subject because a lot of websites use chatbots already. For people who may not be aware, when you go to most websites and a box pops up saying, can I help you? That's actually a chatbot. That's not actually... Well, for most cases, that's not a real human. That's that's a robot who you're going to type in your issue and it's going to give you a series of responses. So what AFIT does is it makes it so that it automates from the, um, not the customer side, but the user side. This is something that you can program for your own personal needs. Is that correct? Yeah, so... What we're doing now, right now, our, our B2B model, from our business to another business, we create these systems for them just depending on what they need. So if they need a very basic chatbot, we, we can build that out with decision trees and such. If they need it on the machine learning level, then we can predict free text responses. Uh, so I, I did chat support, tech support for Apple for over six years. Mm. Uh, so that's how I know how people are what they're looking to what they're going to say before they say it uh, wow. and then we can grow the brain of that bio over time like neurogenesis right right so i wanted to um touch on the the ai machine learning um aspect from a business standpoint if i'm a business person i want to implement this technology would machine learning and AI together give my customers a more human feel so that they're not thinking about that, that, they're, that they feel that they're talking to another person? That's correct. Uh, the, the machine learning aspect, it has, to, it has to feel real. But at the end of the day, a person really is just looking for their results. Right. So the reason that they're going there and then, okay, once I'm here, can you help me get to my destination? Right. And that's where we, you know, we take that data and say, okay, your customers leave after this is said, right? And then for a business, like if you have a business and you want a chatbot on your sit and on your website, you want to reduce that labor because you've probably repeated that same thing 200 times that month when mm -hmm. you can just integrate it into the brain of the bot and you don't have to keep repeating yourself. You can just look down at your phone and you get an email because that person has been filtered out. 
Right. So our job is just to look at that data and make the brain smarter over time. Gotcha. And then the bot will try to grow its brain on its own. Gotcha, gotcha. And it yeah. just collects the data that it's fed over time and and creates mm-hmm. an algorithm, things like that to uh, make it work. So, yeah. um, okay, so um, following that, I was looking at the website and you have um, an application called B-O-I-N-I-N. Uh, B- B- so bionic, yeah, it's a bionic, like a like a bionic human. Yeah. So it's like like well, well, like you said, like bionic, right? Um, right? So it's coming to Google Play and iOS. That's that's the um, that it's intended to roll out there. Um, what exactly would it do in relation to the overall uh, AFID uh, platform? Yeah, so this is where we open up our BSC model for the everyday person that not necessarily hates their job, but just tired of working 40 hours a week. Mm-hmm. 85% of people hate their job, according to a Gallup poll, which is huge. And That's a lot. Like, <laughs> that is huge. That is ridiculous, right? Yeah. Um, I was literally sitting there when I was working, and saying, I wish I could clone myself into a bot and have it work for me. And I invented it. I basically said, okay, well, these things that I would typically do myself uh, for chat support, uh, let me go ahead and integrate that to let people have something work for them so they don't have to do 40 hours a week. So a person will sign up, pay a subscription, and that bot is already pre-trained to help with our ecosystem. So we have, we're going to have an e-commerce marketplace. Your bot will come up and say, hey, I'm Jason. How can I help you today? If that customer buys an external hard drive or a computer, we give you a commission for it. Nice. And over time, we, we generate the volume towards our site. So to ran, randomly just ping your bot and help you make money. So you'll look down at your mobile application and see what your JSON bot is doing for you, like it's your own employee. Nice. Well, and you know, it's uh, for for people who need a real uh, uh, already available um, example. The uh, Facebook Messenger has a bot on yes. it where uh, yes. it pops up this person has a message for you and you know, that, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's similar to that, but this actually, what interested me about what you're doing is that it actually looks like something that I can use at work that my boss would be like, okay, I'm not going to fire him for not showing up. (laughs) He has this thing. (laughs) Like a very smart young man, you know, (laughs) like, Hmm. That's a great idea. Right? Let me keep him. Right. I'll keep him. All right. You know, because sometimes when you're creative, with your slacking off. <laughs> but Indeed. yeah, right. But I mean, you, it, it's 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 good that um, people know that there are projects out there that are actually, um, in all seriousness, there's. It's good that people know that there's apps out there that are trying to make their lives better. You know, the 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 average person, 2019 spends what an hour a day in traffic each way, and then you yep. have eight hours of whatever, you know. Yep. And any help that they can get to uh, mitigate that is 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 a good thing. Yeah, um, I mean, look, look at where look at where the time is going after you get off work. I mean, if you have two kids, some people have three kids and cooking dinner. All you really want to do is turn on the TV and relax, and right. you're already getting ready for the next day. And I just said, uh, "This is ridiculous. Everyone can sleep at the will." And uh, our model is free society. You know, creating a free society for people where they can spend more time with their family. And uh, it sounds crazy. A lot of people are like, "Why are you doing this?" And can't you know, our company's just gonna, you know, they can just lay people off and replace them with bots. And I said, "Yeah, let them go ahead, and they'll just come over to our ecosystem." Uh, just as you would for Uber, and you would just sign up as a contractor and and have the bot work for you. Well, yeah. and it it you you're gonna you 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 are gonna deal with that question, um, obviously, just because of all the amount of uh, fear, uncertainty, and doubt out there about artificial intelligence already. Um, yep. But the idea that you know a parent can 
balance their f- home life and their work life through their phone has to be game changing for a lot of people because now I can still do all that stuff that I was supposed to do at work while I'm spending time with my family, you know, and neither one has to be aware of the other, you know, that, 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 that's, that's promising that that's good to that, that I like that. That's good. Um, so you, your roadmap on uh, the website, uh, you're up to phase one still. Uh, 2020 is phase two, and that's when you're going to start rolling out the B2C um, portion? Correct. Yep. Okay. That's, that's when the, the whole free society campaign is going to roll out. So we're going to do meetups and uh, you know, people talking about, hey, I'm spending more time with my family. and You'll, you'll see a whole campaign. Nice, nice. That'll be really interesting. Will that be um will that be one of the demos available? That's correct. Okay. It'll go into beta. Uh nice. we're, we're working on that right now. Hopefully it'll be finished internally uh before Christmas. Mm-hmm. Final testing. Nice. Um and then it'll it'll open up for the general public early next year. Um I always say mass adoption is gonna come from the marketplace. It's gonna come from apps like this, things that people use that um, you know, everyday use, you know, you want something that your mom, your mm-hmm. dad can use, not something that they have to go get right. a, uh, you know, uh, uh, Adrias. One course. <laughs> right. Right. We, I mean, we love Andreas, <laughs> but sometimes you don't want to be handing your, your mom mastering Bitcoin. Right. <laughs> it's like, right, right. you know, it's she's going to look way. at you like, yeah. right. <laughs> it's hands-on. It's simple. There's not a large learning curve. And it's basically something people have already used because we've all used these websites that have these little chat bots, chat bots that pop up anyway. So I think you guys this is going to help you reduce work hours. You're going to want to learn how it'll help, right? Right, exactly. And yeah, once you find out, <laughs> wait a minute, I, don't, I only have to work 20 hours to get 40. <laughs> right. You know, people are going to be all over that. Right. So you guys should expect. Yep quite a few calls. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to close with, let, let, us, let us know where we can find more information on the project. Where, where, where can people sure. go to, to learn more? Yes, you can go to aphid.io. That's A-P-H-I-D dot I-O. Okay. And uh, we're on all social media, Facebook, Twitter, et cetera. Okay, perfect. So everyone, I'm going to link um, all of the uh, socials and the uh, website to uh, AFID down in the description below. And um, Brandon, you're on social media too, right? I am. I am. Okay. Yeah, Brandon Cooper. The yeah, Coopers are the zeros. Gotcha. gotcha. So mm-hmm. we'll, uh, we'll put all that in the description. Guys, I want you to check them out. I think this is something special that's coming along and it's going to be a game changer once it's out. So Brandon, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Appreciate you. Appreciate you having me. Thank you.